give you instructions on how to assemble this. Uh, if you want to drive, you just want to find the bottom piece, or the, actually the top support piece will look like this, so you dig holes out. Um, it'll have an arrow on the bottom. You're just going to want to set that to where it's facing away from you. Next, you want to grab your end pieces. Um, we'll be labeled with an R or an L, so this says R on it. So we're going to put this on the right side. So just set it right here on the right side. We'll lift this up. Set it right like this. <clears throat> Next, we have our screws. So here you're just going to hold it with your two fingers. Make sure it's uh, even along the top up here, nice and flush along the top, all the way down, and then make sure it's even along this front edge. Install the screws. Again, just check, make sure it's even along that top. Okay, I'm going to grab our left end piece. We're going to work an L on the bottom. We go on the left side. Just going to want to do this on a nice soft surface. <clears throat> Complete the same steps over here. The screws I'm using, you can either use a Phillips bit or a number two square bit. If you're getting a bit for your drills, make sure it's one of the longer ones like this. It works better. I do prefer a number two square bit. It just tends to work better on the screws. Either will work. Okay, next we're going to grab our center divider piece. It will look like this. And have these holes in it and have notches out on the top. <clears throat> we'll set it down to where these holes are facing up. We're going to grab our left end piece. It's going to be labeled with an L on the back side. It'll have these pins. So with those notches facing away from you, just line these pins up. Just press it down into place. Grab two more screws. There's some pocket screws right here. Okay, just lay this down like this. Just slide it. That notch is going to go just on the inside of this brace piece. We'll just slide that into place. You notice on this end down here, there's a line. You're just going to put the bottom of the shelf even with that line. A couple more screws. So the bottom of the shelf even with the line, and then flush along the front edge up here. Screws are all pre-drilled, so it should kind of self-align as they're going in. Okay, the next on the inside up here. I'm going to push this all the way to the top. And then right here, install these screws. These here to tighten just a little bit. We got to put your drills together nice and tight. Next, we're going to grab our, here it is, our other shelf piece. It's going to have an R on the back side. So I'm going to take it like this. So um, where it's labeled, it's going to go down against the floor. It's going to go in right like this. Here's the top side. Bottom side will have these holes in it. So we can set it right in like this. <clears throat> just like on the end over there, there's a line right here. Just put the bottom of that shelf even with the line. Do our end piece over here again. Just there's a line right there. Line up with the line. Hold it even with the front edge. bottom piece will look just like this. Um, have a taller front edge and arrows. Face the arrows up. Just slide it right into the bottom down here. Again, there's a line where the bottom of the floor is going to go to. Just 
but even with that line, all your screws. center divider piece when you fasten in. You're just going to kind of lift it up a little bit, make sure it's flush on the front edge and there's some holes here. You'll see that have circles around them. Just install the screws in those circles. We have another shoe to tighten up here. There we go. Next we're going to go to our bottom support piece. It'll look just like this. See the arrow facing up, kind of just inside these marks right here. Okay, now we're going to set the piece up. We grab our top. Look just like this. Connects uh, an arrow on the bottom. It's going to face that towards you. On the bottom, you're not going to see it in the video, but there's some lines. You just want to make sure that the corners of the bench are inside those lines so you get an overhang all the way around. Like that. Go up underneath, and there it is. Screw holes right here. See some firm pressure down on the top. Install these screws. Next, there's some holes right here that have circles on them. Just inside the screws as well. Okay, now to the end down here, it's the same process. Here. We're going to go around the back of the bench. Um, we're going to add all of our, our brace pieces. So these are all labeled as to where they go. So this is going to be, it says our top. So it's going to go on the right side of the bench. It's actually the left side from where I'm standing on the back, but it's going to be on the right side of the bench. I'm just going to put where it has the label that's going to go up towards the top, just like this, right in the corner right here. And then on the back side, there's some pocket screws. I just want to secure those in. Okay, and then we want to find the ones labeled uh, RS on the back. It's here, it's going to be the right shelf, so right here. Middle, top right, M, top R. It's going to go right here. So M, M, S, R, so it's middle shelf right. So that one right here. And 
this one. So we do the, <clears throat> so now we're moving on the left side. So it's L top right in the corner right here. So you can just complete that on the rest of these that are left. They'll be labeled just like the other ones are, but they'll have an L on them. So the last step after you get the rest of those secured is I recommend fastening it to the wall just because of the height um, of the piece. So I'm going to send some drywall anchors and some screws. You come up in here. There's a hole right here. You're just going to want to um, push the screw through there, leave a mark on the wall, then kind of pull it back and install these anchors. So I'd like just to poke a hole in the wall with a screwdriver or something and screw them in. And then you just want to come up in here with the screws on both sides on these top braces and just uh, screw it to the wall to make it nice, nice and secure. Um, if you have any questions, thank you.